Hi Aries, Aries Rising. This is your Love Focus reading for June 2015. This is a general reading for all Aries and if you wanted something more specific for you, please head to my website www.hypnoule.com. Alternatively, if you have one burning question about your love life, please send $35 to PayPal, hypnoyouelly at hotmail.com, and then send the question to me at hypnoyouelly at hotmail.com. Now, I've chosen uh, one card for the overall tone of the month, one card for each week for the month of June. I've chosen four cards for each week. Just matter if there's five weeks, we're just going to go with four cards. So Aries, now bearing in mind there is a Mercury retrograde happening, there is uh, since Ju uh, May, uh, so they'll be re-looking at things, um, going backwards, uh, readdressing things, renegotiating uh, singles, you'll be um, running into people from the past or, or meeting a new person that reminds you of someone from the past. Um, couples, you'll be retracing steps from um, issues in the past. Uh, so let's get on to it. So your overall tone of the month is the Three of Cups in reverse. Now, reverse cards are all about changing the perspective and changing it quickly. So off and on for the uh, entire month of June, Aries, it's very important for you not to get down. I feel like everything's going to change in the third week for you, okay, Aries? So what it means is it's just uh, keep your eye on the end game um, and you can turn this around. So what does this card mean? Well, it means that somebody's feeling um, unwell worthy, uh, undeserving, insecure, um, or this may not be you, this may be your partner, um, and so there's uh, tension in the air there. It's about not having something to celebrate uh, off and on, so there will be some um, issues coming up for you Aries. In the first week we do have a break, we have the Four of Swords, so this is just taking time out, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to break up, it just means that there will be um, time for you to reassess things. Uh, swords are about your thoughts, your obsessions, yeah, your fears. Um, and, and you need to take a time out. You need to think about things in the first week uh, in June, okay? The second week in June, we do have the Knight of Pentacles. Again, he's still paused, but he's he's um, got his wits about him. He's got his armor on. Uh, he's pausing. He, he's got himself up and ready to go. He's pausing before he engages. So, you know, after your first week of reflection, uh, the second week you'll be ready to talk, ready to move forward. Now, if you're single, um, this is venturing out to date. I feel like two prospects for you are in the month of June, Aries. If you're newly dating someone, the phone calls will start again. They might have ceased for a little bit. If you are in a couple, this is um, getting down and, and starting to talk, uh, no longer sitting in, in corners. In the third week, we do have the Wheel of Fortune, so this is a big change, a big change in your fortune. So this is going to be a wonderful week, the third week in June, Aries, so uh, take whatever's offered to you. If it's a, a date, go on, it's going to be great for you. Uh, this could be a, a, a real aha moment for you as a couple. This could be an aha moment as you as a single person, realizing, um, you know, with the Mercury retrograde that you've dated the same person all off and on. You, you keep going and making the same mistakes in this moment you've decided no this is not me I don't want to do this anymore in your fourth week we do have the ten of pentacles but in reverse again if you want to change it around all you do need to do is change your perspective this is about ignoring what is most obvious. It's like the elephant in the room. People may say things to you, um, you, you both know what's happening, uh, or if you're single, you know what's happening. People have pointed it out to you, but you're just ignoring it. You're in denial. No, I'm not looking, I'm not looking, not listening. So the fourth week is about addressing that, okay? Don't ignore it anymore. Open up a dialogue, see what happens. So uh, I'll pull out one of the angel cards as well to give you extra clarification for June. This is for Aries, June 2015. Yes, so your desired outcome is going to happen. It will happen at the last minute. Uh, azure, your desired outcome will occur in the very near future. Have patience and faith and don't try and force it to happen. So it will all work out. Take your time. First two weeks is about quiet time, reassessing, looking within all of those things. Third week, big change, a positive change for you. And fourth week is about dealing with issues instead of hiding them. 